Hey, everybody, it's the coach, and this is Madden 20 on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what should be a great matchup between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Los Angeles Chargers. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime. But kickoff right around the corner. Standing by to call the action here on Brandon God and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, it's the NFL on EA Sports, and we are at Dignity Health Sports Park in Carson, California. Today, it's the opener of a new NFL season between the Philadelphia Eagles and our home team. With my good friend Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we have arrived at another new season. I had a little more pep in my step this morning. I know you did as well. Here we go. Yeah, when you went out for your five-mile jog, you were flying. You did it in record time because you were psyched up about this game. But let's be frank about it. No more radio shows. No more podcasts. No more just predicting what's going to happen. Now we get to see it on the field. type of season that at the end he's buying gifts for all the guys who helped him along the way and I know that the team wants to hold him to that and really get into his wallet but that's what good leadership gives you you know at the end of the season because you've done a great job QB he's usually the guy springs for the good stuff it's a six yard gain on the ground and that'll make it second and four brings up second and four on second down Eckler they got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. Let's go. Let's go. And the offensive starters here for Los Angeles. And last night we were discussing some of the changes they've made offensively during the offseason, and we know it helped for them to have the first game at home. Hopefully this crowd, which we saw coming in, they've been here for a while, ready to go. You and I should have joined the tailgates, that's for sure. They're going to give them plenty of encouragement. They'll try to ride that wave and get their first victory of the year. They went backwards five yards there on third down to break up Ford. Now so much for picking it up on the ground on third down. Third play on the drive and this defense showing strong early. I wonder how much of that was scouting. I wonder how much of that was a gut feeling like, okay, let's just go ahead and sell out here and get after them thinking they're going to run the football and stuff them early because they've now set the tone. They've set a precedent right here. If you're going to try and run the ball against us, it could be hard going throughout this game. Let's go, baby. Let's go. That's how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a play. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. And they're going to get this all the way out past the 20. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. And that's a run that'll energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. So don't say nothing. Right back to Sanders on first down. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 14 yards there and an eagle first down. That O line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, it's a linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. We'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. To throw, it's wins. Caught by the tight end Ertz. A gain of six there on first. But from their point of view, this game could not be starting out much better. Could it? To 
there keeps the sticks moving Four. so full charge of territory now here's a Big first stop. and ten Big at stop. the 49 yard line <laughs> on first and ten it's sanders desmond king making the tackle they try to quick hit her inside, but that one will swallow it up because when they're open, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Wins. And that will be incomplete. Tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what, what did you see? Yeah, I think you got to let them play. And the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them find it out. And yeah, first is fourth down. So they play the field position game here is a very nice punt is going to pin them back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis. Or do you prefer ping pong? You know, back and forth like that. That definitely was excellent, wasn't it? And now out the field. Here comes Los Angeles. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again, so it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball to their territory. Yeah, he's brought down the ball before they get it across the 20-yard line. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down in L.A. Something to watch here in week one of the season, tackling. Because you and I both know that in the preseason, a lot of these guys don't play a whole lot. Plus, the intensity and the speed really ratchets up on opening week. First down, and they stick with Eckler. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. And the defense now for the Eagles. Fletcher Dots is a first round pick who has fulfilled his promise. One of the best defensive linemen in the NFL. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Off play action. Levine trying to lay one up deep and unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. I think the punter might start to get into a pretty good rhythm here if he keeps getting opportunities. But that's the last thing his team wants to have happen, right? The last thing you want to see. Is your punter feeling pretty good because he's out there all the time? Yeah, first quarter only, but they're 0 for 2 on third down conversions to start this thing. Let's go, boys. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. They were forced to punt on their initial drive of the new season. Now they're ready to go as they begin again with a first and 10. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Joey Bosa with the tackle for loss. How about that pedigree in his face? Yeah, some good pedigree. Tell us about it, Mr. Davis. Nowhere to go. Here he lost the football. But I believe it was covered by an eagle. It was. And Philadelphia is going to hold on to the football. On plays like this, when the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is a quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute it. They're supposed to do it. It's usually looking in the other direction downfield or moved away from it. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. But that play was the very definition.
definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast on a big shot. And where did this one go? Get Good. Ready, get Let's see. Get I'm ready, going to say get inside get the 35-yard line. Get From the 32 now, here's first and 10. You can't block me. He's good. He's good. Running on first down, Eckler. Down to about the 22 here. A nice run there, nine yards. And it'll be second down. Oh, so 70, Indy. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20 yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. A first red zone opportunity here for the Chargers. First and 10 right at the 20. Looking to throw. Levine on the screen. This is Eckler. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. Gotta give some credit there defensively. They snuffed out that screen early on first down. Really read it well, didn't they? Because they didn't bring the pressure that they expected. They covered all the passing lanes. So once you see it break down as the passer, I think in this situation, you were throwing it at the feet of your back to make sure no one picks it up, or you throw it away, throw it over the sideline. Don't try and freelance and try and make a bigger play. There's really no one else running the pattern that should be open. Out to his left. He can run for it, and he will. Five yards that time out of the scramble. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. Well, partner, nothing comes open here, so he decides to escape out of there, and he doesn't pick up a first down. But he does gain additional yardage to set up a possible field goal attempt if they decide to go that route. So three drives now for this offense, and that field goal gives them their first three points. So if you're an offensive coordinator and you're averaging a point a drive, you're in the wrong lot of work, aren't you? <laughs> you got to find a way to yeah. unlock the key to these defenses and put some big points on the board. And it'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21 yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They've had it twice, they punted twice, not the start they were hoping for. Not at all, and let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down. Situation. They got to come over here to the so The furious is going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and kick up the middle? First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. And now a pass dumped off to his running back. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. From the gun on third down. He's going to float this one deep right side. And that will fall incomplete. Oh, they took a shot there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on to kick it away. And he uncorks a beauty. Best of the day. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down and close to the goal line at the one-yard line. You rarely call your punter a weapon, but he certainly was there. How about that? Pinning him down at the one-yard line and helping out the defense in a big way. I'm telling you what, if I'm a defensive coordinator, I might be thinking safety right now. Oh, well, he's trying to pull ahead, but I don't think he got there. He did it. That's a safety. Well, I think you can go ahead and give your punter an assist on that one. Pin them deep, and the defense comes through with two points. You're exactly right, partner. This was all set up by a great punt, and if the ball goes in the end zone, this never happens. So great call. Give the punt team and the punter some love. And remember, following the safety, you give the football up as well. And they free kick it from the 20 now. This is brought in at the 21. All day, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Carson Wentz and the Eagles make their way out to the field. And I, I never played quarterback, but I'm thinking as a quarterback, 
Yeah. A little bit into the game now, second quarter, you're losing, you're not playing well. Probably feels like a lot of weight on your shoulders. Certainly does, but it's something that quarterbacks have to be used to because they're always carrying around that weight. So how do they adjust the weight? How do they make it work for them? How do they work against it? That's what we're going to find out going forward. We're going to be trying to get all that weight on the shoulders here on this drive. From the 36, Wentz. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. It's a gain of 34. That's a real nice job right there, working the middle of the field, working against those safeties. And you know, partner, if you get your hips turned the wrong way, big plays can result. And a big play results in it there. Now a play fake here on first down. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Zach Ertz that team. That'll bring up second down. On the 30 as they come up second and 10. It's a second down run with Sanders. Heck of a broken tackle and able to work this down near the 23. The Eagles on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This time it's third and three. To throw his wins. Good one, able to hold it in. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Eagles have taken the lead. All the receivers in the league plenty good enough, otherwise they wouldn't make it in the NFL. But the ones that go to the Pro Bowl, they have refined route running ability. Doug Peterson says, let's go for two here. Shotgun now for Wentz. And that's going to be incomplete. Yeah, baby! Yeah! Protection was great. He had time to set up a campsite. But in the secondary, though, they were ready. And I think that in most places on the field, if you have that much time to throw the ball, someone's going to shake free and you'll find an open receiver. But condensed. Here we go! Here we go! On a two-point conversion. Here we go! There's not any extra field, so it kind of closes in on them, and that allows you to cover a little bit better. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Hey, 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 hey. Get it ready. Off the play fake. Levine, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Sorry, back gets hit. <laughs> Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Here is Eckler. Four yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have to contend with a third and 13. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Jannard Avery coming in to drop him for a loss of eight, and it also brings up fourth. Brandon, what I remember most about playing with guys who knew how to rush the passer, they would just tell you, just cover people for me, just long enough for me to get there. And that's exactly what happened on that play. Call that a 45-yard punt, just two yards there on the return. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and ten. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter, been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He's definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you have a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, he's really done some damage in an NFL game. Now he's looking just to add to his totals. And here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. The completion good for three and it's second down. First down completion only netted him three. Second seven. 
Wings on to give to Sanders. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. Working from the gun, Wentz. And he connects with Ertz. And he's brought to the ground with another Let's first down at the Chargers 35. Well, sometimes our pre game meetings do play it off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They call him overliable. Yeah, that means he hasn't moved quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push off in order to get open. He finds a way to pick up a first down. Second and seven, Wentz. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 20-yard line. I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talked often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations. But a guy at his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Back to back, nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A great play there with his first career touchdown in his first career game. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. And a nice little start to the career for the rookie here, hitting the end zone in week one of his career. And that's a true welcome to the NFL moment, isn't it? The one that you actually like. A lot of times it's that big hit from a linebacker. There's a lot of work here you are. But when you're able to put it in the end zone and feel that sense of accomplishment, that usually fuels you towards doing it many more times in your career. Now Bullock will send this one away after the touchdown. will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Getting set to go again here on offense. Keenan Allen marches back onto the field. You better believe that he's well aware he has zero catches right now, and they're losing, so he's probably a little hungry. And you know the guys on defense are aware as well, and they're really excited he has no catches, but they're also worried because a lot of times, that's like the ticking time bomb. The longer you hold him down, when he finally explodes, look out. Yeah, no catches, though, so far in this game. Mike 54. Watch the car. Watch the car. They started on the ground with Eckler. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. It's time for them to be good teammates right here. What I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Let's go, D. Big series right here. We got to step it up. To the outside, that's complete to Williams. And he's going to be stopped at right now at the line of scrimmage. No game that time on the completion, and it'll be third down. The Chargers on third down. Not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This is third and 8. Go! From the gun, Levine. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. This is Brandon Graham. He's been doing that since he entered the league in 2010. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. On is the Chargers punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. A 47-yard punt, maybe a couple on the let's return. Go, go, and possession go. will switch. Hands first and 10. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got to the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things. In. From the 36, Wentz. And that'll be incomplete. But I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've 
You've got to get at least four yards. They got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that. <laughs> now Woods. He's got a first down and inside the midfield. And he's going to get this into enemy territory at the 45. He's putting on a show in this second quarter, racking up the receiving yards as he has a first down. Wentz on the draw, leaves it for Sanders. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down. That fits the bill. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Miles Sanders out of the backfield. And it's third and short. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. And right now looking at a third and three. Got a man, it's Artega Whiteside. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 14. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. You have to be a little careful when you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone. Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I mean, it's a good point he just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you can do a zone blitz game. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Carson Wentz with two first-half touchdown passes. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. Heard a coach talk about those late-in-the-half scores, especially ones that give your team a pretty decent cushion. He said those could be the ones that could finish off a squad if you let them. Yeah, they've got the cushion. This half has been theirs. Now Bullock to add the extra point. And that one makes this a 19-point game. So that drive in total eight plays. And it was capped off by an Eagles touchdown. Now Bullock will send this one away after the touchdown. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Here again comes the captain of this offense leading his crew back out there now. And I guess the question, Charles, is what's the formula for keeping him better protected? Because as we see, the protection, it's struggle. And normally what you get is renewed determination. <laughs> when the big guy gets hit, that usually sparks people. Hey, we can't let this happen anymore. They take it personally. He's not supposed to be on the ground. But that hasn't been the case so far in this game. So maybe they've got to figure out how do we get rid of the ball faster to help out the offensive line so he doesn't get hit as much. And we'll see if they can keep him off the ground now going forward. And the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. On first and 10, Levine incomplete. It's been my observation, there's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. Now, to throw again, Levine, he'll get this to Eckler. A swift move and then tackled just on the other side of midfield. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. Back to throw. Levine, he's got his man. It's Williams. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles 31-yard line. Now a timeout signal for him. They'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. A 48-yard attempt. And that'll be off the crossbar and out and short. He couldn't get it there. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, he had that one on target. That's half the battle. The other half of the battle, however, is distance. And he nearly had that, too. But it was a crossbar that said otherwise. And that'll deny him a shot at three. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty this for some defense. Let's see what that's about. 
of the contact came oh, before the ball go, got there, and the flag is thrown. Timing is everything, isn't it? And it's so hard to cover these great receivers. They have such great body control, and they can fake you out. In this case, as you described, got there before the ball got to the receiver. Penalty flag had to come out. He's going to take a shot at the end zone. Why not? And that will wind up incomplete. Trying to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. We'll begin up north at MetLife Stadium over in New Jersey, where you see the final score there. Darius Geis, 100 yards exactly on the ground with a touchdown run as well. From there, we head to the Big Easy. Check on the Saints at home in the Superdome. And it's the visiting Jets who have the lead in that one. Sam Darnold has a couple of touchdown passes. Finally, we'll save the biggest for last. We head to AT&T Stadium to see what's happening with the Cowboys at home in Arlington. And they were winners in that game over the visiting Kansas City Chiefs. 28-7, your final score. In our game, it's been Carson Wentz with a strong first half. He's thrown for close to 200 yards already. And that's helped propel his guys into the lead as we send you back to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Let's go! Now come the Eagles now as they're going offense first here in the third quarter. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working. And that's caught inside the 35. 36 yards on the play. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender. You know I'm going to do that. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. That little arc on it, he's got to find a way to get his head around and make the play on the football. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. On the draw, here's Sanders. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time. Forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. Got him in. He finds Sanders. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout. An injured player. Huh, hate to see this. Week one of the season. We'll be back. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. They'll wind up losing four yards on the play. And that's going to make it second and 14. Throwing on second and 14. Wentz. Open man, Arthega Whiteside. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Now Wentz on third down. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. Come on, fellas. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the time. Just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. No gain there on the completion, second and ten. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. Wentz going to throw. 
Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. The intended receiver, Marquise Goodwin. And it takes us from second to third down. And it's been a pretty long drive. This will be play number nine. With 80, 10 yards out of it on third. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender's making sure he's got to hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant to the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. So put another three on the board. All things considered, a good opening drive to begin the third quarter. And as a defense, the way that this game is going, you're excited to see those points go on the board. Gives them a little bit of leeway to play with when they're out on the field. But they're real excited to see their offense score. Now they get to go out there and do their part. Out comes this field general once more, leading his offense back onto the field. And maybe he's starting to wave the white flag a little bit. He's playing pretty well, but the pressure, it's got to him. Has to find a way to step around it, step through it, or just 15, handle it. Because as you mentioned, he's having a pretty good day overall. Just the hits keep coming and taking their sacks. That's not the way that they want to finish a ball game to a quarterback on the ground so much. And he'd like to stay up right when he's been up right. He's been pretty good. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? So the big play moves him all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. Ready, ready. Operating from the gun. Levine. This is caught by Williams. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. And all good for 13 and a charge of first. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here on a late flash as well. I think face this one's going to be a face defense. mask. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 ready, ready. more for the face mask. Talk about right a play right there, right that there, absolutely right costs you in the end. Just try to do your job, right? Try to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they match up another 15 against your squad. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout. An injured player. Huh, hate to see this. Week one of the season. We'll be back. Let's go now, H.E. Gator. Get it. From the gun, Levine. And this will be caught in the end zone for a Chargers touchdown. Get it, baby. From a yard out. And the Chargers are able to close the game just a bit. And now they'll empty the backfield here as they elect to go for two. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. That's a beat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes you throw what, a touchdown strike. There you go. That's my man in concert. This one taken from the seven. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards after the 27-yard line. Carson Wentz and the Eagles getting set to take over. He has been consistent, hasn't he? He played well in the first quarter, good second quarter, and now continuing that here in the third. And that's the word that they're always seeking from the guy taking the snaps, is consistency. Taking care of the ball, here we go, here we go. making sure it gets to the right people. No errors, Tyler right? Ringo, Not turning Tyler it over Ringo, and just doing got, all the right got, things. That's leadership and it inspires confidence in the team. Uh, been a good leadership and a good distributor. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. Play fake to Sanders. Now here's Wentz. And his throw is going to be incomplete. J.J. Arvega, right side, the intended receiver. And it's still the short. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here. That looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open. And this part just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. As you know, so many things in the passing game are based on yardage. Sometimes it's just based on timing. And that's what we saw right there on that play. Third and three. 
Just get the ball right to the receiver. Is the hitch route. And tell us, what is the hitch route? Yeah, just take really one step, like you're driving off the line of scrimmage, get the defensive back on his heels, get the ball out to the receiver, and he does the rest. Here's Wentz to throw. Catch is made by Osega right side. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackle there. It's a gain of 16 and an eagle first down. So front charger territory now. Here's a first and 10 right at the 40. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. On play action. Wins. Here's that man again. It's complete. A big pick up there for the Eagles first down, 18 yards. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. After that play action there, they're spraying the big guy, didn't they? They're going to dump it over the top to him. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. They threw the screen to the perimeter, but to no benefit at all. Tackled behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of yardage. On second down now, it's Sanders. And they'll get him down right around the 16. A minimal gain there on the eighth pick of the drive. 56, come on, 56. Check. From the down, it's Williams. A bullet throw, but incomplete. Good job there defensively. They did allow him to drive all the way down the field, but once they got their backs to the goal line, right, the way it turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let him get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They struggle to convert, and that last incompletion brings up fourth. Caught by the tight end Ertz. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pick up through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. They'll run with Sanders. And he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the ball right after a pick up in the middle of the Second and goal from the one. They'll try to run with Sanders. And he is not going to get in as the big body stopping at the one. They hold him again, and now all of a sudden, it's third and goal at the one. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third? And he will take this one in for an eagle touchdown. Carson wins with now three week one touchdowns. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, that's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Charger drive about to get going. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out. Just kind of get started again. You know, doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. First and ten. You must, you must get time to see it. Right. Looking to throw. Levine. And this is Gabriel on the catch. A gain of six there on first. Yeah. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys that we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed. And they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. Now a throw for the left sideline, and he's got it. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Now Eckler, and good penetration here. He'll get this down only about the 49-yard line. Let's go. 
Only a yard of the game there as time will run out on this third quarter of play. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. This pass finds its way to Williams, and he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Check, check, watch the foot, watch the foot. First down. Throwing on first down. Levine is going to find his running back. It's complete. Give him seven on the play, and that'll bring up second down. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Second and three. And it's a short one here. Complete to the tight end. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 22-yard line. This quarterback now, pretty amazing. 14 of 16 throwing the ball. It's first and 10. Operating from the guy. Levine got his man. It's Williams. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. So second in inches after that first down completion with just shy of the marker. Connor, and now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Four yards on the play, and that leads to the first and goal. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Back to throw. Levine sliding out of the pocket. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. Here's second and goal. Operating from the eight-yard line. On second down, Connor looking for space. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they get it now? Looking to throw. Levine to the end zone, but it's incomplete. So now fourth and goal. You're trailing by a decent amount here. What are you doing, Coach Davis? Well, I've got to think to myself, just how many more opportunities am I going to have this close and have this chance? I've got to go for it right here. The clock's dwindling on me. Let's go get it done. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And this Eagle defense stands tall down near the goal line. So they'll trudge off the field with a bitter taste in their mouths after that failed fourth down conversion. Yeah, there'll be a lot of analysis there on the sidelines. Was it the right call? Was it, the, was it against the right defense? Should they have even gone for it at all? Will that change what they do going forward in this game? A lot of questions to be answered by them. The defense doesn't really care. They're like, bring <laughs> it on again. We'll stop you the next time, too. Back near the goal line, here's Wins. And the most curious way to bring some clock. That was wild, and at the end of all that, it winds up a safety. All right, Charles, help me out here. Fourth quarter, you've got the lead, and you run backwards into the end zone. You're just trying to do too much. I almost don't have words for it, but you know every coach that we talk to talks about running backs or people running the football, running north-south, getting the field. He went way in the opposite direction. And that's going to cost his team. Yeah, it cost him big time. Still leading, but it costs him. We go, we so they'll come up first and 10 game. now from the 33. And we're pretty close. <laughs> from the gun, Levine. Yeah, it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Second and two. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And I think the ball's out, and it's picked up by the Eagles. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, down this big in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd say afternoon to forget, absolutely. You better be afraid of me. You better be afraid of me. They'll run on first down. Sanders. And he'll be taken down at the 33. A pickup of about four. 
And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. So third down now. They need the 27-yard line for a first. They'll run with Sanders. And for the moment, this will be a first down. But we have a marker on the field. Let's see if this stands. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Now a play fake. Wentz. And he finds a man with a crossing route. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. Come on now. Good pick up there. 26 yards. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era with any about sportsmanship and all that. Other people have been about fantasy points and getting their numbers. That's all they care about right now. Well run, it's Sanders. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Denzel Perryman there to bring him down. At this stage of the game, with the score where it is, the key here is to in bounds, and he did just that. Not by a huge margin, but he stayed in. And those come up in what we like to call winning edge meetings. The things that you have to do, late game situations, kicking situations, doesn't matter what it is, the things you have to do to win a game, and that comes up in that meeting, and you practice it, they've got to be happy to see it executed, being able to stay in bounds and work the play. Now he's got it, and he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Working from the game, Reds. That's caught at the two. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Back at the two now, here's second and goal. Shotgun snap, and then the give to Sanders. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. Turning into a really good performance on the road. Week one, you're just hoping for that first win. It's tough to do it away from home, though, but they're looking strong. It certainly is. Any road win in the NFL is a great road win. I mean, it just does not matter whether it's supposed to be tough or not. In this particular situation, how great will they feel leaving with a win on the road against a tough opponent? Well, they work still to do that. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. I know we could sit up here around it a little bit. But going for two in this situation, somebody wouldn't like someone else. There's no doubt in my mind. Well, what they couldn't see is you lean back in your chair and you're like, I mean, you that's, that's not go, go, a good decision. They didn't get it, though. Yeah, I don't think you just say, well, my kicker's hurt in this. No, no, okay. Here comes the field general leading on, his set. offense back hey, out there for the next possession. And those numbers, they kind of tell the story of his game so far. It started off not so hot now. He's really heated up. And remember, he signed up for duty as the guy who leads the team, right? The field general, the signal caller. So when things go rocky early, he can't just exit out and ask someone else to pick things up. He's got to do it himself. And that's what he's done here in this game. Here's second and eight. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Mike Williams, the intended target. And it'll bring up third down. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Back to throw. Levine. And the throw there going to be incomplete. But defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game, and that was a big talk, both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them, holding them under 200 today. Now, if you're a fan of punting, this game's for you. He's been out there quite a bit. That one may be his best yet. They certainly got his leg loose by now. Kind of reminds me of my college football coach, John Majors. 
He loved the punting game because he liked the positioning, the field position, and he loved to play defense. 14 yards there and an eagle first down. Thanks to that last play, a little more room to operate. First and 10 at the 18. Now Sanders. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Well, doesn't matter whether they've scouted him or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Skirts by him at the 35. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. And now time is called as we've got an injured charger down there on the field. We'll step aside and come back to Carson after this. Get ready. They fake the give. Now wins. And that'll be incomplete. And they took their shot all right, but it comes up empty. And it's fourth down. Fourth quarter, you've got the big lead. If you're coaching, Charlie, are you still taking shots like that downfield? I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of it. But look at this. It's a fake. Snap it straight to the up man. What's his responsibility? Normally, obviously, just to protect, but he's got to be a guy that can be pretty agile, too, right? Yeah, without a doubt, because you're talking about a guy, even in protection, he may have to slide up and down the line of scrimmage to pick up someone that comes through, trying to block the punt. A 50-50 ball here, and it's intercepted. Monte Nicholson picks it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Passing game has been spectacular this afternoon. Finally, a win for the defense. You think maybe there was an adjustment there? Finally, gain a measure of I don't even know if you call it revenge, but got a play done against him, and that's been difficult for them all game long. Throwing to start the drive. Levine toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Throwing again. Levine. Open man, Taylor Gabriel. It's a game of 11 and a first down LA. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And the Chargers. Go. First down. First and 10 at the 25 yard line. Let's get it. On first down, Levine has got it to Williams. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they get it right at the 30-second mark of this fourth quarter. Second and six. Hit from behind, and he's going to be driven down. And you hate to say it with a rookie quarterback. He's done some good things, but overall, a little bit overwhelmed back there, hasn't he? He certainly has, but in his defense, he'll have a lot of time to throw the football. In his, in his defense, I got it. Yeah. Yeah. Did that. He needs better protection, that's for sure. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone, eventually that becomes man on man, and you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make the play on the football. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that officially. Give him 15. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before we hit triple zeros. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And they've got this one in hand. No timeouts remaining defensively, so this one should just be one kneel and then handshakes. 
Now one final throw here is incomplete, and that is how this one will come to an end. So fly, Eagles fly. It's a victory for Philadelphia. And partner, I must say, good to see you again. Been too long, and it's good to have football back, isn't it? Didn't you see me in preseason? Weren't we together in preseason? Yeah, but preseason, you know, it's preseason. This is week one. Oh, you're trying to say real football. Real football. Not preseason football where we shake down the rosters and figure out who's going to play and maybe the starters don't play as much. Now it's the front line guys from the first whistle. Yeah, I tuned you out in the preseason. <laughs> now I'm listening to you.